In this video, we will be discussing what should be the ideal preparation strategy for your GATE psychology examination. So you that score very very high in psychology and OK OK types you can score in the general section whatever that is reasoning, logical and all that. Alright, but if you focus on your psychology portion, you can easily be able to get above the cutoff as well as you can score high in your GATE score. Alright, so if your mathematics is good, if you are reasoning and all that thing is go good with English so it's completely fine you can practice on your own as well as you can practice from other books as well but if you focus completely on your psychology and just a little amount of focus can be shifted to your general aptitude section so that you can score very very healthy in your gate 2025, 2026, 2027 whatever time you are giving you can score pretty easily all right Okay, so in this video, we will talk about the strategy. So first of all, we will discuss about first and foremost about the psychology. So for psychology, you just need what? You just need only two books plus the PYQs. PYQs of how many years? PYQs of four years plus the revision. This is all you need to do for your psychology portion and you will score approximately 80 to 90 percent accuracy will be there if you do it thoroughly all right but these two books will not make you let you happen correct answers just with one reading or two reading or three reading all right you need to do it thoroughly you need to read between the lines not just shallow reading each and every word has a meaning because let's suppose this heritability thing if you wonder if you have given UDC net examination previously there was a question asked about heritability something regarding to this relating to this so if you don't know from where how it came it is mentioned in that particular book okay so you you need to be very very careful each and every single word so let's suppose it is written that this was started from here so you need to find out from what where it was started all right so you need to be thorough with this here reading and once you do thorough reading you will find out that this book is everything for your preparation which is required Obviously knowledge is always less how much you study but for the point of for the sake of clearing the examination you just need to be precise crisp and be thorough with your preparation all right so the two books will help you a lot plus the four years PYQ with the answer key we have already told in the previous video so if you have not watched the previous eighth part then make sure that you watch that part so that you know how to download how to access freely the, all the PYQ so that you don't have to pay anything to anyone all right just for your PYQs all right so make sure that you download all the PYQs you have if you want you can do the printout if you want you can do the PDF and what you need to do is you can do the revision as well all right you need to thoroughly do the revision again and again so that you can score high now we will talk about the general aptitude section and for this I particularly feel that you just need to do PYQ all right so you see if you are from English medium you have a we can assume that you are having a little bit of sound we can say knowledge of English all right what is present tense what is past tense and what is future tense so approximately I just saw one two questions of these type that you have to change from direct speech to indirect so though you do not know grammar that much but it is still fine because you know MSQ will not harm you because it will not give you what it will not give you negative marks but the mcq type of questions you need to be little bit of careful right so if you are finding out that you are weak in maths if you want you have time to practice you can practice it but if you find that you are weak in maths and if you don't want to mark one two questions it's completely fine because what what will happen eventually you are scoring very very high in psychology you can score very very high in psychology so that you want if you want you can take that risk if not you can just do what you can just do the pyq right for general section only doing PYQs is enough I guess all right for you to make sure that you score comfortable score in your general aptitude section so you, you do not miss on cutoff if there is any for general section okay so doing PYQs will be more helpful than doing different types of book different kinds of book for your preparation of general section all right and there will be some part of comprehension as well so comprehension you can easily comprehend from the paragraph about what the paragraph wants to say what are the answer they are asking and see this general section will be equal to all of you so all of you might not be from the humanities background might not be sound in uh, doing mathematics and all that so it's completely fine you just need to focus on what you just need to focus on the pyqs because for doing this part what you just need is you just need is common sense 
apart from common sense you don't need anything you don't need any books or any other thing just you need what just you need yahan par common sense all right so this is just an example how you can attempt how you can do it's not mandatory that you do this way so let's suppose this is question number 1 and i know that this is going to be taking a lot of time because i have to just if this denotes increasing order of intensity then simmer increasing intensity seeth and then increasing intensity smolder then is analogous to same to same to what break then raise and then what will be there so i just need to make sure that i am knowing the meanings of these words if i am knowing the meaning of these words i can solve it if i am not knowing if i don't know the meaning of these words it's not possible logically to answer this correctly all right so i should not know the meaning of for the fissure for the fracture for the obliterate or in for the obs of the skate all right okay so i can assume that okay i will take little time in solving this okay pretty honest okay and now this thing the house numbers on 301 302 uh, road are consecutive odd integers starting from 301 all right so they are increasing from 301 onwards and this side of the road and this side of the road it is 302 so this is maths portion and let's assume that we are not happy with maths so we will what we will just do the skip because this question will comprise of what only one mark so we can take a liberty on this and then again mathematics for positive integers p and q this thing this thing this thing if you this is haunting you then you can leave it simply but what you need to do is you need to apply common sense in this all right so you can't do wrong answer in this why which one of the given options is a possible value of x in the following sequence you just need to do apply common sense how it is what are the differences and you can easily do the answer all right so 3 to 7 it is difference of 4 7 to 15 it difference of 8 pretty obvious that next difference will be for 16 and then 32 like this and you can check for 15 plus 16 you will add how much it will be it will be 31 and it will be the correct answer so there is no doubt that this is the correct answer over here and you can check also 31 plus what you will do you will do 32 it is 2 plus 1 3 and 3 is 63 so you are doing the right answer all right so the correct answer over here is d31 so what i simply do is i just apply simple common sense i don't know heavy formulas and all that thing and just simple common sense is what all is needed over here all right let's see again on a given day how many times will the second hand and a minute hand of a clock cross each other during the clock time 12:5 to 12:55 so you just need to do little bit of mathematics you can do little bit of calculations if you know about the this thing in some of the questions you can do easily if you, if not it's completely fine you can practice with the pyqs all right and see this question this question can be done by you easily if you have knowledge of english all right from the ancient athenian arena to the modern olympic stadium athletics dash the potential for a spectacle the crowd dash with bated breath as the olympian artist twists his body stretching the javelin behind him 12 strides in he begin to cross step so you just need to know knowledge of english and it will be completely fine all right so you can do the pyqs if you want to do all these you can do but 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 that is the reason why the paper is of what paper is of, of 100 marks and the cut off is going around what around 50 because all the psychology students will find it very very not very exactly but yeah pretty difficult to do all these questions not everyone not the most intelligent ones but just like normal humans like you and me all right so make sure that you focus on psychology and you do the pyqs for what for your general psychology not general psychology the general section of your aptitude that part that you i just show you the question of maths the reasoning and then the logical reasoning and then you will find questions from comprehension as well just now we saw the javelin and olympics throw so you ju just need to be little better in knowing the meaning of words in english and you if you want to practice you can do practice for this thing as well so it's completely up to you but psychology section is 110% guaranteed that you if you do the books and pyqs you are going to score pretty good and you will not need to worry about doing whatever you are doing over here because in psychology will score very correctly very precisely and very good score you will be getting in psychology so you won't bother if you are losing one two marks over here as well all right okay but you have to be little on average side you have to be on on an average you have to be scoring good in this section so make sure you do you can't leave this completely so you want to but still you must do it thoroughly properly all if you at least do the pyqs the concept you will gather from the pyqs is more than enough all right so for we can say for 4 years you will have approximately 80 to 100 questions and 80 concepts are more than enough 
for you to gather the knowledge and to apply in gate 25 26 section sessions all right okay so that will be your preparation strategy for gate psychology 2025 i hope this video found you and this helped you so make sure that you like the video if you want to if you don't want to make sure that you join the telegram channel so you can have access to the free pdf that has been provided about that book which is having questions for your gate upcoming examination and don't forget to subscribe the channel